And it's the big comeback. I'm finna do an interview with Hot Thoughts TV, man. Y'all tune in. The purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. I know what the fuck we doing, man. It's Hot Thoughts TV. Niggas hot in the beach, man. I'm smoking the purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Let everybody know your name and where you're from. The big comeback. I ain't gonna say too much, but I'm from Houston, though. Southside, though. Southside. 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 And so, you know, growing up, what was school like? What was some shit you was into at a young age? The shit we was into at a young age was dangerous, <laughs> but I can't say too much about that. We don't speak on it, but, you know, from Dallas to Madison, you know what I'm saying? Where is it? A lot of schools. Yeah, shit, a little bit about the name. How, you know, the name come about? Well, um, the big comeback. Well, shit, I came up with this shit, like, because I always been wanting to do music, so shit. I kept going back and forth to jail. So I was like, shit, I'm going to come up with a big comeback, because something major going to pop out for me, and I'm that's what it's going to be, the big comeback. And my music, everything, I'm bringing it all back. So that's why I came up with the big comeback for him. For sure, and then also, you know, seeing that you, you are known as the voice of pain. Yeah. You know, a little bit about that, where... <laughs> Where did you really tap into that side of yourself where you could express it? Like, shit, really being locked up in a penitentiary, I wrote that up and up. And I came home to want wanted to really force the issue on it, apply more pressure to it, so that's what it came up to. And I dropped the first song y'all sing as y'all see blowing up so big. I dropped it when I first came home. It did numbers and that's where it went from there. And for the people that don't know, you know, if you don't mind, how long were you locked up for? Shit, yeah, like two and a half. Two and a half, man. A little bullshit. Sure. <laughs> so what was like some some music influences that, you know, growing up or just like, you know, being locked up that, that might have, thoughts that might have held you down throughout the process type shit? Shit, yeah, really wasn't that much shit. I just wanted to do my time, come home at the same time. Just write my music, focus on me. Yeah. How would you say, you know, that you you uh you stay, you know, motivated to keep writing, you feel me? And keep pushing. Shit, I just know. Really there's a lot of shit going on on the inside, so that's why the voice of pain something serious. I just love my mama shit, so that shit keep me motivated a lot. I got a little twin, he keep me on point with it. This nigga right here definitely. So it's a lot of people really be pushing me to do it and motivating me to do it like that. But for shit show, my mama made me want to just push this. And that's why I'm so big on the voice of pain. I don't want to do no more music if I don't get the voice of pain. Like, yeah. that's just it. Yeah, just a little bit more about that. Is that a project that you got in the world? Definitely, definitely. Videos, a lot of shit going to come behind it. I'm just getting a lot of shit in motion though. Perfect, yeah. How motivational is it, you know what I'm saying, to come back and kind of you already spoke it into existence, like you said, you was going to bring it full back, yeah. boom, drop a song, and then it's getting the attention that you probably <laughs> didn't even, you know what I'm saying, you, you thought you was going to have to build to that stage type shit, so how does that feel? Feel good like a motherfucker, for sure. I mean, I can't lie, I seen it happen, I seen just some days I wake up just knowing. Shit, it's gonna happen one day, bro. I can't rush it. But for sure, I see it happening. So, for one sure. thing for sure, though, I definitely want to thank a lot of people for the support, though, for sure. I want to thank a lot of people for this. I was gonna say, because it's like a lot of natural, like, you know, blog or like, you know, media network support, you know what I'm saying, with the, with the couple videos that you dropped recently, you know, everything mm -hmm. pretty much get promoted from different people, so that's yeah. love. Man, a lot of people been showing love, promoting. I want to thank y'all for bringing me out. You know what I'm saying? Sure, sure. It's a lot of people, man. It's a lot of people. Deals. I'm supposed to be going to Atlanta. It's a lot of shit going on. So. And just with the music shit, what what some goals you have with it? Cause you seem pretty passionate about it at the same time. Man, with this shit, I just want to let it play out how it play out. But for sure, I know what I'm what I'm gonna do. You know what I'm saying? If I ever pop. Man, Granny got a gift from where she is. <laughs> Lil' bro going over here, he going there, you know what I'm saying? So it'll be a lot. My main thing, I just want my engineering to be real good to help me do better. Because, you know what I'm saying, I'm still trying to find myself in the process. Yeah.
to work on my my craft better than what it is now. Cause I I actually got a lot of music that no one haven't heard, but I'm working on my craft and it's it's coming on in versatile ways. For sure, and I'm sure, like he said, just with the support, I'm sure that's serving as you know purpose for you to want to stay out the way. Out the fit. way for sure. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, because this. So much shit going on, it's easy to get around. Man, it's the trouble easy to get into, hard to get out, that's what I'm told, you know what I'm saying? Do the crime, do the time. A lot of people say it ain't never too late, which is true, you know what I'm saying? But me, personally, coming from the streets and all that shit, I'd rather tell a nigga, hey, you gonna thug, thug, but at the same time, this way is around all this shit. I'm doing it now. <laughs> I'm doing it now. <laughs> yeah, for sure, and it's like, you know, you got you heading towards the music shit, and I feel like in the music shit, like there's a lot of facades and shit. You know what I'm saying? Especially people portraying like shit that they really ain't. You know what I'm saying? So how do you keep yourself like grounded? Because like you said, there's gonna be a lot of shit coming your way. You, you know, gotta what I'm saying? stay away from fuck shit. Yeah, stay away from fuck shit. Fuck shit. Stay away from you. Watch the niggas you around. Can't be fucking with everybody. I'm gonna keep it straight like this. See, I had to cut off a couple of partners. Once I put people in different shit on who I fuck with at the end of the day. Why someone just say they love you too? See, the boss of pain really speak for itself. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, it's not nothing that I'm just on there just capping about it. It's real story. Shit, a lot of people can vouch for it. It's all facts. It's no lies. No lies. So, it's going to speak for itself. All I have for people just hit me out. I'm not asking nobody to feel my pain, but please hit me out. And when you hit me out, you'll understand. Where I'm coming from, nigga. Really, it's, it's a whole story. <laughs>